may have to talk loud, but so be it. Let me put the windows up. All right, we've done it. We've done it, man. Man, this is insane. Praise God Almighty. Without him, this would have been nowhere near possible because he holds all good. So, man, praise, praise God. Oh, man, this is surreal. I cannot describe this feeling. This is insanity to me to have. And I always got to mention this because it's so vital and important to the timeline of having two of the slowest things to heal in the human body with brain and nerve damage. And to return, uh, to return within one year is insane. And regardless of if I did or if I didn't, if they didn't take me back or they, if they, they didn't take me back where they did, still, I would, I, I have returned, uh, sub one year, sub 365 days, sub 52 weeks, sub 12 months, and that in itself is just insane. So, you know, because I have, because I have the clearance letters and all that, and it definitely did suffice, and while I was there, you know, kind of like when I knew I had it locked in was, um, they, they said something uh, along the lines of, despite you being here for only a short time, and short time was six weeks before this happened, and within that time, um, they said that I, I was able to prove myself within that time, because of those six weeks, I didn't miss a single day, and every single week I came in for overtime, and ironically and perfectly enough, they have, um, they're gonna start giving overtime in October, and man, do I, do I des desperately need it, you know, for, you know, a multitude of reasons, and, oh man, this is just insane, and then, um, so, the meeting was with, uh, the president, Emily, and then the, uh, you could think of him as a supervisor, um, one of the two supervisors of the four, uh, one of the brothers, because it's all a family, uh, one of the brothers of the, of the family, and so, he wanted to see, like, uh, you know, how, what, what my, <clears throat> what my limitations could be, so, and he saw there was really none, but, uh, so he had me go out to the floor and lift a, lift a few heavy 30, 40, maybe even 50 pound uh, baskets of material, of pipe fittings. And, you know, he definitely was able to gain confidence because of it, because he saw I really had no issue. Other than one of the heavier ones that, obviously we work with oil and, you know, your hand, you know, up to your, about, your, up to your elbows are covered in oil, you know, at the end of the shift. But, uh, you know, because that's the lubrication that's used. But, you know, when I was picking up that heavy one, my hand slipped on the, uh, the handle uh, because of the oil. And, um, you know, so I wasn't able to do that one, but I can assure you, and I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure I told him too that, you know, I could have done this if it didn't slip and, you know, it just kept slipping because, you know, it was, and then obviously once it gets on your hand, you know, it stays on there until you wash it off with uh, things like fast orange or what we have with like powder, so. Oh man, this is insane. I just feel I needed to, uh, I just feel I needed to make this video, um, you know, especially, you know, even on the way home and not even wait till I get home. And obviously I'm paying attention to the road, no doubt, but you know, this is just, oh my goodness. You know, making videos like these helps me uh, vent my emotions. So ideally start, start will be Wednesday or Monday, I should say, Monday, so next week. So obviously I'm in a vehicle. This is one of my cars that I have, but my brother's using it. So I'm going to go purchase another vehicle that, and this is the thing that I talked about, I have working behind the scenes of, I already have a certain specific car set up, ready for me to buy at a local dealership. So, you know, got that set. So I'm gonna do that Wednesday because uh, the guy who reached out to me um, for a reason I won't talk about, um, he reached out to me first and then, uh, what is it called? And then like I made, I was calling him and, and making sure he's gonna be in the office or in the, um, at work that day so I can give the sale to him. So, cause obviously these guys make commissions. So, 
you know, for him going the extra mile and reaching out, you know, that means a lot, so. But yeah, I mean, the fact that I feel surreal now is, you know, it makes me very interested on how I'll feel on Monday when I can fully and truly say the comeback is now complete, so. And then on Monday after work, get off at 420, Monday after work, I'll make one more video of, of YouTube and then I'll present it to the people that, um, that I know and care about and that have helped uh, along with this journey, you know, and I'll, I'll go more into detail in that specific video, so. But oh man. Can't even believe I lived, let alone, you know, been able to come back from this affliction. Truly unreal. Unbelievable. Man, people say God is good, man. God is phenomenal, <laughs> to say the least. Man. Woo-wee. Our Heavenly Father is so caring, so loving. It's just unreal. And of course, He's the God of all undeserved kindness, so... You know, whether I deserve this uh, this good fortune recently or not, you know, he gives undeserved kindness to those, obviously, who don't deserve it. But, you know, in turn, you know, that just shows, you know, how caring, um, you know, our father is, our spiritual father. So, oh. yeah, I'm definitely going to eventually take some time of solitude to just just decompress and, uh, you know, have immense gratitude like I did on the way home, you know, just shouting out, shouting out the name of God, you know, which is Jehovah, if you didn't know, and, you know, and just sanctifying that name and praising that name, so, because truly, there's no coincidence that good happens, there's no coincidence that I lived three total different brain bleeds, so, you know, that's, that's all, that's all Jehovah God. Nobody, n- nothing, nobody else uh, really involved that. Other than, of course, you know, obviously the uh, first responders and whatnot. But, you know, I didn't have any life-threatening injuries other than the brain bleed. And that was just, uh, that would have been done and taken care of and pressure released in the skull within a decent time frame. Regardless of, you know, whether the ambulance arrived, you know, five, ten minutes later or not, you know, so, because you have to spend quite some time for that pressure to build up in the brain with brain bleeds in order for it to have significant damage, but I'm going to mention this too on my main story on most of my social media platforms, but uh, God forbid you or someone you know and love uh, goes through and or sustains brain or nerve damage or broken wrist even which i'm still working on um have them have them reach out to me and i will shed some insight upon them so because especially with when it comes to nerves i have well over 300 hours of research because there was a time where i was just kind of like going insane and you know especially you know the vast amount of the vast amount of knowledge I gained has been very very good, and it's also helped me not damage my nerves more and or put me in the best position possible to be able to, in a sense, heal faster. Even though, uh, really, only exercise will do that because of exercise and blood flow. But you know, if you're putting the correct things in your body with nutrition and you know things like that, then you know, you're going to be in a much better position than you than you will have if you didn't know any of that. So just know, you know, I have a, you know, insanely powerful story to say the least, you know, so. Oh, man, this is unreal, man. And, you know, I may never believe it, especially when it comes to, you know, shocking the, the fact that I shockingly survived. I truly believe I won't ever know or understand that. But, you know, so, but I'm okay with that. You know, it is what it is. 
but yeah. I'm All right, forgot to mention, um, as hard as it is for me to say, you know, obviously in the moment, because you're suffering and going through much, through so much tor turmoil, you know, it feels like it's been three or four years, but, you know, now being at the end and very significantly close, you know, looking back on it, it only really feels like between three to six months, so. I'm gonna end the video here. So I appreciate you guys, take care.